spot. Like you see Schrader pull out with Wallace. And there they go right on by Dale Earnhardt. And the idea is you have to team up. You can't ever do those deals by yourself. Junior trying to give Earnhardt a little bit Whoa, of a boost. As three of them get together on the backside and one upside down. Schrader. Schrader with a tremendous flip. Ricochets off the bank. Two other cars on the backside. All of them into the bank. Caution comes out once again. Spectacular accident on the backside. It looks like Earnhardt is able to get restarted as the rest of the field comes back somewhat carefully to the line, and Dorsey Schrader appears to be okay as he reaches down and looks for his belts. But he's a bit, a bit uh, stunned there. At least the car is still intact, Paul. You can see it all intact, and he's moving, and that's always a good sign. With the caution out, the rest of the field strings across the line. We've already seen the elimination of one of the big NASCAR names in Jeff Bodine because his car couldn't be repaired. Boy, covered in mud, looking at the car that is so terribly damaged, but he obviously is unhurt. And here is Earnhardt, the early leader. A big piece of fiberglass flies off that car as he tries to get back to the pits to get a little bit of help. He was against the bank on the inside of the back stretch as well. Well, you can just see how far these cars slide when they hit that wet grass. It's been raining all day, and of course, a lot of the safety is the fact that it was wet. All right, taking a look at the situation again. That's Earnhardt down on the inside. And it just seems like at the front of that run, it was Schrader that lost it. And boy, once the wind got under the car, he almost rolled over the top and may in fact have literally rolled over the top of Earnhardt. Boy, Terrifying su crash. Surprising Schrader. accident. Bobby, what do you think started that? Well, it just looks to me like it was an aerodynamic thing. I don't see anybody touching anything. Watch as they come down right here. There's Schrader in the, in the red, pink, dark red car there. And it just looked like it just started turning. I couldn't see anybody that helped him. And there the air got underneath it. That just shows you how powerful air is. The car is tumbling just like a little toy. To the good fortune of everyone riding behind, Dorsey did get to the inside of the back stretch and now is on board this ambulance. Of course, they'll, they'll make a cursory examination. Pruitt closes in. Mark Martin just behind him. As Dorsey Schrader flips through the air, he comes in contact with Al Unser Jr. Just ahead of that is Earnhardt, who was able to recover the car and get back on the course. Heavy damage to Jr. and to Schrader. Looking at it now in slow motion, Bobby Enzer. Okay, now as you watch, Scott Pruitt is in the middle. Also, Mark Martin could have played a factor in that. He was very close to the back. Now, there you saw Scott Pruitt. It starts happening now. He kind of went out of the frame for a minute, but he went up in between the cars. He was trying to find a hole in between. Dorsey Schrader's there. Watch him rotate to the left, come around, dig in. Now, watch the car come back around to the right and start rotating to the right. All done, or at least most of it, with air. What is unclear as we look at all this is whether or not there was contact between Dorsey Schrader and Scott Pruitt. Now, we will have a chance to re-examine that again as we take a look at Scott Pruitt's onboard camera, Bobby. Well, as we watch now, Scott is in the number one. There's Schrader on the right. Right ahead, Scott's coming up. Now, he's moving to the left. He wouldn't like He's edging that way, coming back now. In behind, still trying to keep his draft real good. Getting awfully close. Remember, all it takes is a slight touch at wrong angle. Now he's in between. Now right there, it would make you think that it either could have been like two or three inches either way, Paul. He either touched him, just barely touched him, or didn't touch him at all there by two or three inches. Well, the back end was hopping up and down a little bit. The point is, if he touched him, the touch was so light, it's hard to believe that would put a car like this out of control. Hey, what was going through your mind? Well, it broke a 20-year string. I've been racing 20 years and never been upside down, so I decided to do it in a big way today. I don't know. They turned it around backwards. I got hit from behind and turned sideways, and, you know, I'd seen those guys take off like it before, and I thought, you know, if that ever happened to me, I probably wouldn't like it, and I was just totally right. The takeoff was good as a poor landing. Well, the one thing that's kind of interesting, though, is you're a laundryman's nightmare right now because he is literally covered head to toe in Talladega mud. But he is all right, Paul. Rusty Wallace just ahead of Scott Pruitt. You want 